Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to make the how to test the multiple HTTP URLs. Up to now, what we have did, we have tested only the single HTTP URL only. So whenever we are having HTTP client data and we are checking the and we are testing this HTTP client data, that it should be called only once, right? So this type of uh, testing we are doing right now. So now in this video, we will see if if we want to test multiple HTTP URLs in a single test case, and also if we want to test the data that uh, that that the multiple HTTP URLs the response if you want to test it means how we can test it. Let's try to see it. So now here I am writing the test case that it should test multiple requests. So how to test this multiple requests using the HTTP client? So here I am closing. Yeah. So now here, what I will try to do like this, I will open. So first, let's try to frame the data. So constant test data I am having. So here I am taking array of data. Okay. So it will be consisting of array, something like name, Leela, and another one is name, another one is another object of type name, Leela Web Dev. Okay. So these two things, let's have these two things only. So we are having a test data which is have an array of data that is only a string of a string of, uh, object which is having name key only. Now let's try to make the three calls. So I am making HTTP client dot get of data. So it will try to get the data. So which is the URL? So test URL it will try to call and I am doing the subscribe. Okay. So in the same scenario I am doing the three calls. So here I am making the three calls. Now I need to check that the exactly three calls has been made or not. So how can I make, how can I check this one? So here let's try to take the request. So we can take the request using HTTP testing controller. HTTP testing controller dot. So we need to use the match. Here we will be having the match, right? So we need to seek the match. Match for which one you need to match? So test URL. So expect one will take only, it will check that only one time only the HTTP call has been made. Whereas the match, it will check that how many times it will check, it will check the multiple HTTP clients, how many, how many times it has been made with this URL. Now the second one, what I need to do here, expect the request dot length to equal, so it should be equal of three, right? So here, here we have made three times the call. And it should have been equal to three times. So request dot length to equal three. And the second one, what we'll try to do is, so here we need to send the data to each one. So HTTP client dot get of data, the first request, second request, and third request. So the response, we need to define the response for each one. So how we can define the response for each one is, so here you can use for first one, for the first request, you can use request of zero dot flush. I will be saying I will be sending only empty data here for the second request. So whenever we are making a second request, so I will be sending only one data that is nothing but test data of zero. Okay, only the first value I am sending. For the second request, that means third request, I will be sending complete test data. Okay, so here I will be sending the complete test data. That's it. So like this, we can define the response for the each HTTP client using this request dot flush. So whenever you are using the match means HTTP controller dot match, the request you will be getting the multiple requests, which is of type array. And we are checking that exactly three requests has been made, has been made or not. And also we are defining the response for each request here. Now, if you get the response here, you can test in a such a way that expect data dot length dot to equal of zero right so we are sending the empty data here so data dot length should be zero and here i'll be having data and for the second one expect data to equal of so we are sending array of test data of zero right so i can check with the array of test data of zero that's it so for the third one what i can do here i can check it for data so here expect so data so whatever the data you are getting to equal 
So for the third request, we are sending the complete test data. So I can check it with the test data here. That's it. So now let's try to test it. So here if I try to test it, so here it is running successfully. Now let's try to open this one. So if I try to open here, so now if here if you try to see everything we got it success. So here let's go to the HTTP client should test the multiple requests. We got it correct. Now if you go here into this code and if I try to see that we need to make four calls here. Let's try to see the output what will happen. So now it is executing. So immediately it got failed that expected three but it is uh, we got it three but you are checking it with the four. So now so everything is working fine. So like this if you want to test the mul multiple HTTP client URLs means you can test it like this. So this is how we will be calling this multiple request. So if you want to test the multiple requests of the same URL if you want to check how many times the test URL has been called and also if you want to send the customized data to this each request means we will be doing it like this. Hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.